All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Xerath in the mid lane, and we are running First Strike, Boots, Minion Demat, Cosmic Insight, Mana Flow Band, and Transcendence. We're going to be doing my favorite build for Season 12, Xerath. Favorite runes, favorite build. I think the best build, too. And we've got a good matchup, too, Anivia. So... I like first strike because the thing about Xerath is it's all about hitting your power spikes. And gold is actually better than rune damage. Plus, this rune gives good damage also. And Xerath can apply first strike very easy without getting hit first because of his range. So, it'll snowball us a bit. I don't really notice too much damage loss when taking this rune compared to, like, Comet. But we kind of counter Anivia because we outrange her. She can match our wave clear, but we we can kill her late before she can even reach us. Now, Camille and Poppy, on the other hand, those will be the difficult ones to deal with because they're pretty tanky. We don't really do damage to tanky champs till we get, like, Void, Staff, and Death Caps. But I'm just going to be farming, trying to get as many minions as I can. Besides that one that I just missed. But when first strikes up, I'll just go for the easy W and then try to follow up with a Q. How much money do we get for that? 10 gold plus whatever 5 you get. So it doesn't give you that much early. You don't want to go out of your way to lose a trade just to get some first strike money. But as a mage, the early game is your time to scale. You need to farm... Don't need to force fights. Nice. And then I take the minion demat over like biscuits. If you have trouble in lane keeping your mana up or uh, you take a lot of bad trades, take the biscuits. But otherwise, I like minion demat because at a point in the game, once we get our mythic, we want to be able to kill the caster minions in one Q. She's walking at me. That kind of gave away that Poppy was here. I don't know if we win this fight, to be honest. Oh, that was a good turn by Diana. I didn't think she'd go back in. Let's leave. Their top lane's coming. Ooh, Diana overstayed. Alright, I can't really help her. I just need to go back to the mid lane. Hopefully Camille doesn't try to commit again. Okay, cool. But that's good. We got a kill. Anivia didn't get a kill or an assist there. Wow, oh, I didn't get that minion. What a scam. All right, I want to try and get a first strike combo on her. Like that, before we go. And we have enough for a lost chapter. I'm just going to push one more wave because I have a... Uh, Mini Dmat still, I have double buffs. Since we got an early kill, I'm going to use two of my minion Dmats on the melee minions. Because I feel like um, we'll get more kills. But otherwise, use two on the casters if you don't get any early kills. I can actually stay in lane. Force her to TP back. You can also take teleport instead of barrier, but a lot of the time I rely on barrier to bait people who are diving me or just to survive. But TP has been the meta for a bit, because even if you die, you just teleport back, and you don't lose that much. But you are very fragile on this champ. Let's do chapter. We have free boots. I still have my potions. I don't need to buy anything here. Our mythic item is going to be a Ludens. I like Ludens the best on him. If you're in a tough matchup where they pick an assassin that counters you, then consider Crown because it is cheaper and it does save your life a lot. But against this team, the only one that's really going to get to me is Poppy and Camille. And Camille's not going to roam mid too much. And Poppy shouldn't gank me that much either. And those kind of champs, even when they catch me... I'm dead anyway, even if I have the crowns, so it's not worth building because they have a lot of sustained damage. Crown's good versus like a Rengar, a Talon, stuff like that.
Okay, so I have alt. I can look in the side lanes. I see that they're full health, so I'm not going to bother. Poppy's down here, though. Now I can start walking bot and potentially alt this guy. Nice. We got a shutdown. Missed. If I hit that one, I might be able to still get her. Ezreal. And we got the Poppy out of this room. Oh, maybe not. Barrier saves us here, though. Okay, I got her. I might have to flash out. Anivia just walled herself, though. And she flashed. Oh, that sucks that there is a minion wave here for her, though. Oh, I got more first strike money. I should be out. She's gonna have wall again. Nice, that was a really good roam. Did I get three kills out of that? Three kills plus first strike money. Yeah, Anivia is in big trouble now. Four kills, Zareth. They're fine. Not gonna stay for this plating because she'll be able to clear and then if Poppy's around, I'm dead. So, we already have Ludens. Our next item is gonna be Shadow Flame. I like Shadow Flame because it gives the most damage. It gives 100 AP, whereas Horizon only gives 85. It does give the 10% extra, but... I like the Shadow Flame more because the magic pen on it just makes it hit even harder. Because once you have Sork Shoes plus Shadow Flame, you just got so much flat pen. And you just delete squishies. Nice 68 farm. I will just stay back even though this guy's mid. You can almost kill him. You just you never want to walk too far out. I don't have vision, but even if I had vision, uh, the enemy teams have gap closers. If I'm any further out than like half halfway, then I'm risking dying. But we got our boots now. How much damage we did to her. I don't know where Poppy is. I don't want to go too far out, because if she ganks through here, then she can push me closer to Anivia. But I know where she is now. She just did Herald. She's either going top or she is coming mid. But Anivia's pretty low. Yeah, we're almost killing the uh the casters with our Q. So maybe even two two minion DMAT on the casters. I need vision of that guy again. Meal, so she has dash. She is quite fast. Oh my god, come here. I'm gonna die to Camille now, I think. Oh my god, just die, Bobby, please. She's gonna get away. Whatever. I give up on you. She takes like no damage and then she just kept juking like crazy. <laughs> I don't know where the bird went. I think she's bot. Nope, she's mid. At least I got first strike money. Okay, let's go buy Sork Shoes or I can actually buy a large rod. Which is better because it's expensive. It's hard to purchase. We'll probably get boots on our next base. Back to mid we go. Mord's winning top, so Camille shouldn't be that big of a problem. They're bot lane and their jungle that have the kills. 
And I'm really good against ADCs. Zareth is extremely powerful versus AD carries because they're so squishy. They don't normally build defensive items. Kill the killer here. Nope. I can go look to alt bot if Diana tries to fight them, but I think they're just backing up. I just focus Anivia here, get plating. It's a tank poppy. Two plating. I clear one more wave before I roam down just in case Anivia tries to fight me in river and now this wave will crash too and I won't get frozen on. Try and snipe poppy. At that health though, I have to, I have to hit all three and I don't even know if uh, all three will kill her. I don't need to do anything here. It'd just be KSing if I ulted. Nice. Back to mid, though. Meal's dead. Anivia's still here. Got some first strike money. We've gotten 300 so far. Actually, a little bit less than 300. 276. I'll stay for Shadow Flame. It's like three, four hundred more. I just need to pop her egg and kill her. Ooh, Ludens hit her there. Don't want to tunnel on her too hard though. If I die to Poppy, this is gonna be a long game. Rank two ults. We had 30 seconds to get this plating. I might as well go for it. Got dragon. Okay, I can either go buy sort shoes and then maybe alternator, or I could finish the shadow flame. I actually think the sort shoes alternator is gonna be better. Because the Sork Shoes give more magic pen, I need the mobility to hit more spells. And then finishing the Shadow Flame isn't expensive. Buying the Large Rod is the expensive part. So on our next buy, we'll at least have Shadow Flame. Is Ezreal died? Oh my god, that Lord is untouchable. Yeah, they're not killing him. If Poppy had a Sunderer, maybe? Who even has kills on their team? 11 to 13? It feels like it's 11 to 30. Oh my god, that hit hard. How much do I get? 56 gold. Okay, so mid-game is when we start getting paid. Yeah, we hit the Ludens, uh... Sort you power spike. Nivea flash. She loses her turret, which is pretty big for a Nivea. She's like Zareth, they gotta hide under the mid tower. If I hit this, she's egg. Ezreal's coming, I could try and get him over the wall. Oh god, I'm dead. I forgot about this thing. Oh no, I'm alive. Oh my god, he flash stunned a... Uh... I'm still dead. He flash stunned a minion. I should have kept running though. I thought that Poppy was uh, sent up for some reason. But Diana cleaned up. Alright, we got Shadow Flame. Next, we're gonna go just straight into a death cap. We'll go Death Cap, Void Staff, and then last item can be Horizon or like uh, Hourglass, whatever needed be. But we go Death Cap next because we already are building up a bunch of AP. Just 
need more damage. And then the Void Staff will allow us to one-shot squishies and do damage to tanks. If I hit Ezreal with like one Q and then ult him, I could probably kill him. So close. Can't believe that one. Oh shit. I can stun her. She's not taking damage. I gotta stay back from Camille. Got Harold. Nivea still has her egg. Ooh, that one hurt. Yeah, I do like half of his health with one Q. I think we're fine here. It's just gonna take a while for her to die. I'll go help. I'll go help Diana. Well, Diana's dead. I did see a low health Ezreal. He shows on vision again, I'll ult him. Oh my god, I deal so much damage. Got her. He still has his block anyway. Nice. Clear one wave, then I'm backing up. I might die, but we're winning this game pretty hard. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we get large rods for death cap. And the reason we go at uh, third item is because we have two open inventories here, too. If we picked up a seal earlier, which... I do a lot of the time. We could sell the door ends for the one of them. No. Oh my god, he's farming both the camps. I think he's gonna. He's not gonna kill her. Oh. Oh, she altered him in that. Oh, wow. Okay, so Pantheon and Ezreal have damage. That's where their damage is. He's dead if this hits. Almost. Well, he has no E, so if I get vision of him, I'll ult. But he's not going to show his face around mid. Let's see if I could clean up bot. They're going to chase her. Maybe I could stun them over a wall or something. On vision. Oh, she made it out. I gotta stun Panth. Because if I go for Ezreal, then Pantheon kills me. Oh, he's dead. And she's dead. We'll take it. What are we at? 188 farm. Yeah, we've just been sitting mid the whole... Oh my god, I'm lucky. That would have been a death. Well, actually, I, I'm full health with Flash and Barrier, and she's not that fed. Let me go buy my cap. So now we got, we got big damage. I just need my Void Staff next, and we'd melt anybody. have we gotten extra 658 and then we save 300 with the boots 
So we're getting our power spike like a thousand gold faster pretty much. Which is very nice. Well, should have just kept going for Poppy, but she's so fast. Oh my god, Senna does a lot. How much money is that? Two hits, 87 gold. Get an inhib. I'm just gonna take this out. Can I click on you? Hello? What the fuck? I got scammed. Bro, it actually scammed me. I was clicking on it like crazy and it wouldn't teleport me. I wasn't even in combat. Whatever. Can you not take these ones? If you're no, I, you can take those. I guess it just glitched. I don't know. I should have been able to take it, unless an Ezreal Q hit me right before or something. I wasn't quite paying attention, but I was not in combat. And I lost my sons. What's oh, the crown is real build? Crown doesn't save him too much versus me though. As soon as it gets popped, he gets deleted. I stand at the brink of infinity. Bolt up. One. Oh my god. You see that stun? Zareth's stun is so bad up close versus Merc Treads. It literally, it didn't even stun her for half a second. And it's supposed to be half a second up close. It literally, it wasn't even a stun. That's why he's so bad versus champions like Camille. Like, even if you stun them, it's like not even worth using half the time because you have to do a, an animation which locks you up longer than they're stunned. So like, absolutely useless spell up close. But it's good if you hit a max range one and then you have enough time to burst. That Camille, Anivia's up there. She's got Force in Nature. She's going Sterex. But we got a uh, Hextech Soul, so that's nice. I thought we were going to win this game too fast, but I, I think we gave him enough gold that it'll go a bit longer. But Hextech Soul is going to be nice for kiting them. Or if I hit an alt. Why do I feel like this guy's going to take it? Tried to. You don't even use mana. You don't need it. I'm gonna try and just, well, the first shot, he has Hex Shrinker too, there's no way I kill him with just my ult. I need to hit a Q first, or the loot to pop his crown like that. But somebody's behind me over here. Wait for his jump. Oh, he didn't use it. Even the next one, if it hits, it doesn't kill him. This Q might kill him though. Actually, no, he has Hex Shrinker. Barely out of range. And then when I do get in range, Camille's able to hit me. Wait for Camille. Oh my god. Yeah, if we can actually hit them, we do damage. I almost have my Void Staff too. And Anivia can normally hold this first champs, but me? No, because I get to hit her even if she stands behind tower. Much for you, 400 gold. They're gonna kill Mord, but we'll get mid and hib while they kill him. Enemy 
He's still alive. God, my cute chunker. Oh, barrier gang. Oh, I missed. Let's see who's up. Poppy? Oh, we can get the void stuff if I base. I think they're gonna try to kill me though. Or in the game. Poppy wants to kill me. Ooh. I hit her for half of her health bar. Where the heck is Poppy going? Wow, that's like a, a perma slow. Wow. I guess I threw the stun too early, because he didn't pop up till after it went through. Void staff. And then we could do Horizon last. Peace. Oh, it's GG. It's like it's GG. Yeah, hi YouTube. Hello Poppy. That was that was a solid game. No solid Zareth game. I tried recording some other stuff today, but just the games were not going well. Like every game just feels like we're we're winning too fast. I mean, we're playing against decent people this game. We're playing against Platts and maybe a diamond. I don't know. I'm playing on my main. But yeah, not bad. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the video. I'm gonna be running this Zareth build on my main in some solo queue for a while to for sure test it. Cause I am on the edge between this and Comet, but I think this is better just cause the gold. Hitting like Shadow Flame and Ludens earlier is just so important for Zareth. But yeah, other than that, like the video, comment below if you want to see more Zareth stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out my main channel for a Silas video where the enemy team called me a scripter. Yeah, they called me a scripter on Silas and not Zareth today. Interesting day.